know my soccer universe. Ever since the Copa America started, I always managed to get the Women's World Cup first in today, since there were early kickoffs in the Copa America, and I think we have the same thing tomorrow. I'm actually doing the Copa America roundups before uh, Women's World Cup and even the Africa Cup of Nations. I'm wearing Brazil because Brazil moved on and won the group and I think finally was convincing, um, which, you know, most Brazilians will be happy. I was actually watching most of the first half of the Brazil game and I have to say I was surprised that Brazil again plays in Sao Paulo. Um, it seems really since, uh, uh, since they are organizing tournaments this decade, you want to keep Brazil as far away from Rio as possible. Maybe in the final they can play in Rio and I don't quite understand that. But that's the only thing I can really say negatively. Uh, Brazil, uh, the away team against Peru, it was one of the two really great jersey matchups that I saw today. Um, it's just uh, beautiful. The Peru jersey is a beauty. The Brazil jersey is just classic. Uh, it, in bright daylight, it's awesome to watch. I'm also going to go at the same time between Venezuela and Bolivia. These were concurrently played. Venezuela in the away jersey with a big V on there in Bolivia and their home jerseys are also interesting. I actually shot today a uh, jersey review video, but I'm not sure when it will post, so um, I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there, that's all I can say. Let's get to the games, because I don't want this video to get too long. Um, well, concurrently, the first thing that happened is that Venezuela scored right off the kickoff. Um, cross in, Machi scores in the first minute, 1-0 Venezuela. This was in so far um, important that, you know, if Venezuela win, they have second spot secure, regardless of how Brazil against Peru ends. Um, if, I think, yeah, exactly regardless, because uh, they would be ahead of Peru for, uh, for sure, unless Peru gets five points. Yeah, maybe that could have been some sort of tie. But, uh, you know, a win is a win, and if you can beat up Anyway, um, I was personally hoping uh, the tie between Bolivia and Venezuela so because I expected Peru to lose to Brazil, which unfortunately happened. I mean, a corner kick in, it gets headed against the post, a rebound comes to Casemiro 1 0 to Brazil in the 11th minute. And just when I was settling in, I, mean, I haven't actually seen this live, life. I was rewinding, and the point where I was rewinding seemed innocuous and <laughs> That's exactly where the 2-0 came. Goalkeeper for Peru has the ball, wants to um, punt it away, hits Firmino, the ball ricochets off the post, goes, gets back to Firmino, he can slot it home in the 18th minute. 2-0 for Brazil, horror start for Peru. Despite all the Grazie Merck jersey uh, matchup, it was absolute horror star. start. Um, Peru, I, you could see, was shocked, tried to get something a little bit going, a little calm the game, nope. Everton gets the ball uh, on the outside of the box, like at the corner. No one's really taking care of him, and he can have a free shot into the short near corner in the 31st, and it's 3 0 for Brazil. At this point, the game is lost, and I actually lost interest in the game, and I said, well, that might be a sign that I should switch over to the Women's World Cup which was a good choice. Uh, I missed though many goals. Um, in the 53rd, Dani Alves makes it 4-0 for Brazil. In the 54th, Machis scores for Venezuela. In between, Bolivia actually hit the bar uh, in the 37th. So after Brazil made the 3-0, Bolivia could have had an equalizer. Was not to be. Machis makes it 2-0 for Venezuela. And you think, yeah, that's kind of safe. Um, however, now switching over to the game, Venezuela actually uh, hit the post to make, uh, could have made it 3-0 and right on the counter, more or less, Justiniano uh, makes it 1-2 for Bolivia. So maybe there's a draw in there, which actually at this point would have been good news for Peru. The only good news, but it was not to last because Martinez in the 86th makes it 3-1. Uh, and 
back to the Peru Brazil game. Villian with probably the best goal of the evening. A nice curl shot from the edge of the box. 5 0 Brazil. And then they even get a penalty, but this time it's safe, so the goalkeeper kind of redeems himself and it ends only 5 0. This means that the group ends with Brazil winning the group with a pretty impressive goal differential now, given that they had two really not great showings. 8 0, 7 points. Venezuela finishes on up 5 points, uh, plus 2. Peru 4 points, minus 3. Um, and Bolivia without any, any any points. If I look at it, this Peru result uh, means that Argentina actually has a fighting chance if they just get a win against uh, Qatar tomorrow. They are secured at least this third place spot and they would be ahead of Peru, which would see them through to the next round. So there is some slight hope, however, you first got to beat Qatar. If you look now at the bracket, I mean, there are no matchups set yet, but we have Brazil playing in the first quarterfinal in Porto Alegre against the third place team. Uh, Venezuela plays in Rio against the run-up of Group B. Remains to be seen who that will be. And we also know that Colombia on the same day, uh, on late, later kickoff, uh, will play the run-up of uh, Group C, potentially Uruguay, Colombia, Uruguay and Sao Paulo. We had Colombia, Uruguay at uh, a first knockout stage at the World Cup. You remember James Rodriguez, goal of the tournament? Of course. Um, let me know what you thought about the games, uh, how much you watched of these. I was actually excited and then the game got quickly out of hand, so what can you do? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.